Well hello and an extremely warm welcome back to the channel and today is going to be a train set running day and after all the excellent comments that were made about this TT set when we last decided which set to run from a choice of two and just to remind you the other set that I showed you was this Hornby 00 it's a really nice set 2022 the Caledonian it was the little TT set that got the most interest so indeed today we're going to have a bit of fun with this out on the um, layout bench. Now just before I get into it there's a couple of things I mean I'm sure none of us in the UK will have uh, been able to have missed the storms we've had recently absolutely devastating to a lot of people property damage and um, even more sadly there's been loss of life absolutely atrocious conditions for many people so here's my barograph chart from the height of storm Eunice and strangely obviously it was sort of mid-morning this really got going and you can really see the dip in the chart there pressure dropping very quickly over only a few hours accompanied by extremely high winds and rain so let's hope that uh, we're coming out of the other side of these storms. Now another thing I just want to point out to you if you regularly watch the videos on a Wednesday there's going to be a pause in uploads just for a couple of weeks that's because now things have changed um, in the world regarding Covid I'm going to take the opportunity to visit some family members that I've not seen since the start of the pandemic so I'm going to be out of the country and consequently away from the layout um, so no videos just over the very short term but I am looking forward to making a video on this Caledonian once I return so this will probably be the next upload after the one I'm making for you today so let's get into this and see what I've got now you might notice in front of the set box there's a couple of um, extra straights I've looked out just to give the oval a little more size and here's a power clip. Um, I'll talk about that in a sec. Let's get the lid off. Um, you might remember just when we looked over it briefly. The reason I've got this power clip is because in my old age I'm going steadily more mad and probably, I don't know, I probably should open it and use it but I just thought that's nicely in its cellophane so I don't really want to get it out. Hence this one. This is the T91, the Windsor Castle. Here's a picture of it with the body off. Just the lightest of recommissionings. Strange little motor in these. Um, quite worrying when you look at the windings of the armature. They look black and horrible, but all seems to be in order. Just the colour of the wire they used in the factory, I guess. So that's the T91 Windsor Castle. And you can just see the T91 on the underside of the body. Also, the little T92 tender, West Country coaches, and here's the track. Now, this has never been put together as far as I can see. The fish plates are extremely tight, so I'm going to do that off camera. Now, I'm tempted to give it a rub over with something, but I'm not going to. Let's see how it performs straight out of the box after all these decades in storage. Like the set we saw the other day, if you remember, the London Transport set, it suffered from the plating deteriorating, especially on the top side of the rails. Perhaps that's because it's where it's the thinnest. But I think there'll still be quite good conductivity. Well, I'm really hoping so. So there's the P5 at the ready. I'm going to pause the camera, set this all up, and hopefully we'll enjoy some TT running. Well, everything's out of the box. I've got the oval set up. Items on the track, so I am going to start feeding in a bit of power. And away goes the Windsor Castle. So I've got it set at this speed, which seems to suit it quite well. I don't know whether that was a slight derailment. There was a bit of jumping about there. If you're familiar with these TT items, you'll know there's fine flanges on the rolling stock, so unless you've got everything set up perfectly, you can get derailments. 
but I really like the way this set looks. I hope you're enjoying seeing it operate. I don't know whether I can reduce the, um, the speed slightly. I'll try and get some better shots of this now for you from various different angles. Well, I've had great fun getting this up and running. I know it's only a short video, but there's only a certain amount you can do around an oval. But I think I'll probably have a little bit more fun with this before I go in for my lunch. So I'll leave you with the Triang T6 train set. And until the next video, I'll say take care and goodbye.